Hello guys and welcome back to the Addy in Georgia channel. Today we'll be taking you on a tour around the Kaliaka Resort which is located 30 minutes away from Varna. Uh, we decided to go here because this was originally going to be our wedding venue uh, but basically things changed because Addy got pregnant. <laughs> so here we are now just entering into the facility that is the horse riding part where you can go and ride the horses around the little fields. Um, as you can see this resort actually connected up kind of with uh, Topola Skies. You can't get into Topola Skies from it, you'd have to go around but basically Topola Skies is more like a family resort filled with water slides and stuff and then the Kaliaka Resort is a little bit more relaxed, picturesque looking right over the cliffs with just many many pools so we're coming into the resort now. Addy's been talking about this place for years. Um, always said she wanted to get married here. This is her friend, Desi, as well. That's took us. So big shout out to Desi. Um, basically, we are just coming in now. It's it's a looking a little bit more run down than what it was last time when she's seen it because it had been many years ahead. But there's a lot of apartment blocks all the way along and you can be situated in one of them with one of the many pools around it. Um, and then again you can see the cliffs and stuff as we get further in so yeah we're just about to park up now and go and check in at reception We've now checked in and we're just walking down now to one of the many terraces that they have. This one specifically called El Balcón del Mundo, which is basically situated right over the cliff. You can see all the water now as we're walking down the path. You come here as well when you're having breakfast in the morning. It's also just like a normal restaurant in the evening, which is where we ended up sitting as well and just overlooking out of the water. It was really pretty. They light up all the fire. Um, like little fire lanterns and stuff and fire pit it's just absolutely beautiful a lot of people tend to come down there so I'd suggest if you want to sit there and eat book as soon as you arrive or book in advance before you even get there they also have two other places on there as well which you can also check out we didn't because we preferred this place because this was again was supposed to be one of our wedding reception areas um, but yet yeah, so definitely go down and check it out the weather's absolutely beautiful as you can see, surrounded by all the palm trees and what more could you ask for at the end of the day? The staff are wonderful and the food is spot on and I mean spot on and let's just say the wine keeps on flowing, they've got a huge list. So yeah, definitely go in and check it out. Um, this is like kind of like the bar area as you can see there. So you can sit outside and kind of sit undercover as well. It just depends what suits you. This is the lanterns that you can see coming off. And just look at that. Check out that view. You, you, you couldn't really ask for anything better, would you? So yes, indeed, fun times. This is the lady that was basically going to be our wedding organiser. She was lovely. She was always on hand. You could always just drop her a message on WhatsApp and she'll come straight back to you. So today we basically spoke to her and we just said we're turning up and we're going to stay. She booked our room for us and we stayed. And she gave us a full tour of the facilities and sat down with us and answered any questions really that we had. Uh, again, pretty straightforward process and what more could you ask for really it's specifically with the prices and everything it was just ridiculous compared to what you'd be paying here in england so much better and again look at the view like you couldn't ask for anything better than seeing that when you wake up for your wedding day or do you want to see bare brick <laughs> so yeah definitely if you want to i'd recommend going to check this place out if you're looking for like a nice little relaxation retreat and stuff like that just go and just take in the nature and absorb they've got their own private beach which in the summertime they do actually tend to take you down there it's just at the bottom of them cliffs um but yeah again it, it's a big huge resort we're clearly in our element here i'm just stuffing my face as always and if you like golf as well you can check out the golf courses this specifically this area is one of the main pools that you can go to this wasn't our pool we were in another one but they're all near enough the exact same size they're huge um you can get a lot of families here and just chilling or just like normal just people just laying there and just taking the view in 
yeah, again, what more could you ask for? Over there by the two little boats as well is where like they tend to take a lot of their wedding photography, which is lovely. And as you've just seen before, they had like this like little green area. That's where you'd get married. So you'd, you're overlooking that kind of view. That's on top of the El Balcon del Mondo. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely worth going to check it out because the place is just, it's so picturesque and it's just spot on. So now we're just going to be heading over to this little terrace which is where the wedding would have been. It's specifically suited for smaller weddings which situates like about 30 to 40, maybe even 50 people. But basically you can have the DJ in there, you've got your own bar and then you've got all these seats and stuff and they can decorate it and put like all the lighting up, have all the flowers out entirely up to you they can basically sort out all of these packages for you but it just would have been beautiful of an evening now even throughout the day it was just perfect and the best thing is as well you could have brought whatever you wanted to bring in terms of alcohol so definitely one of a kind 